Hi, it's Megan from Northwest Myofunctional Therapy, uh, myofunctional therapist and founder, and also the co-host of the Munch Bunch Myo podcast. So if you haven't already subscribed to either one of our channels um, or on found us on social media, please subscribe, like, comment, interact with us. We're real people too, I promise. <laughs> So today I wanted to hop on and talk about something that gets brought up to me daily, multiple times a day from patients, from providers, from friends. And it is probably one of the most frustrating pieces of being a myofunctional therapist is I get this question all the time why didn't anybody ever tell me about this? And, uh, you know, I agree. <laughs> I didn't find out about airway health, myofunctional therapy, proper tongue posture until I was 22 years old. I was working as a dental hygienist. I was cleaning teeth all day. I had raging headaches. I had heartburn. I had fatigue. Uh, my tongue would press against my bottom retainer all day long and I'd be hunched over cleaning teeth and by the end I would be like man I'm too young to be feeling this way <laughs> I rush into my dental hygiene career and you know I can barely make it through the day and so the doctor I worked for at the time I was chatting with and he was like well where's your tongue at <laughs> and I was like in my mouth um you know, and he had told me, he's like, well, did you know proper tongue position is that tongue tip into the roof of the mouth? If you were to say the letter N, you can find that what we call the spot. And I was like, I have never heard of that. My tongue was in the bottom of my mouth. I had an expander, which now we know is a red flag, uh, had an expander. And so my tongue just always lived in the bottom. And when I got my braces off, nobody said I was supposed to do anything different. So you know, fast forward three, four, five years, I'm going down rabbit holes looking for answers myself. Um, and I'm struggling with fatigue and heartburn and jaw pain and clenching and grinding. I was the colicky baby. I was a bedwetter. I needed an expander. I had a retainer. Uh, I had a little bit of an open bite from my little tongue thrust. And I never knew that those weren't supposed to be that way, right? So, you know, to be honest, nobody ever told me either. And, you know, it's hard because there's so many people in the medical community that either aren't aware of this stuff, didn't learn it in school. And you know, when we talk to them about it or we ask questions about, it, oh, it's fine, they'll grow out of it. Or, oh, it's fine, everybody does that, right? And it's like, well, okay. Just because we're all a bunch of stressed out adults and, uh, you know, clench and grind our teeth just means we all have something in common. It doesn't mean that it's normal, right? And it all means that we just need a little extra help or, oh, every kid needs braces. Okay, but why? Why does every kid need braces, right? Tongue posture, mouth breathing, there's some genetics that play into it, okay? Tongue ties, tongue thrust swallowing patterns, mouth breathing, low tongue, you name it, right? And it doesn't have to be that way. So I understand the frustration. And some of it is of what we know now. There's more and more research that has come out in the past few years in particular, uh, really driving home a lot of these myofunctional concepts. I'll make a couple of videos breaking down some research for you guys um, so you can even be more empowered based on the research. And if you do get that feedback, well, there's no research. I beg to differ. <laughs> but, you know, in this field, we have to show a lot of grace, a lot of patience, um, a lot of collaboration and finding your right people, finding your right team. And once you do, we can just take you so far. We've been able to help so many patients over the years. Um, and it's sometimes it's been a struggle for them to find us. So we're sorry nobody's ever told you about it before now. We're happy to help you now where you're at. Um, I think more and more in the next five, 10 years, hopefully sooner, <laughs> it will become more and more common 
mainstream knowledge. We've got some great pioneers in the field who are really trying to get the word out. We know that there's, you know, research around tongue ties or evidence of tongue ties being released as early as the 1100s and 1600s, 1700s. And we could really, we could dive into that and talk more about the history and maybe we'll save that for a different video. But uh, nobody ever told me how to find it on my own. Um, you know, even when I had my daughter uh, in the hospital, the doctor there, the pediatrician, when we came home, um, the lactation in the hospital, all trying to tell me she wasn't tongue tied, lip tied. Um, and she had a little heart shape and she'd gag every time that she'd try and eat. And she had 360 blisters around her lip. And luckily I, I did know, um, and we were able to get her the help that she needed, but you know, it's all about finding your people advocating for yourself, having us help advocate for you and just continue to get the knowledge out, continue to get the word out. Uh, we've had patients come onto our podcast, even the Munch Bunch Mayo podcast and share their stories. Um, so there's a lot of resources and we'll just continue to spread the word, continue to get those things out there. But one big thing to remember is we don't learn this stuff in school. Medical doctors, specialists, dentists, dental hygienists, speech therapists, even though we're the ones who can treat it, we don't get to learn about it until we find it out for ourselves. So find your team, find your people. Um, we have the wonderful opportunity to work virtually. So we get to see patients worldwide. You're more than welcome to reach out to work with us uh, and we'll help. We'll be your guides. We'll be your gurus and we'll help you breathe through your nose, lips together, tongue up, correct chewing and swallowing, sleeping better, feeling better, breathing better living better. So uh, if you like this video, you found it helpful, go ahead and click the like button, subscribe, share, comment. Let's continue to get the word out. It's on you now, now that you know.